So today's video will be focused on blinking animation. I'm gonna show you guys two different techniques on how to do the blinking animation on mobile. The first technique is a very simple one. It's the one I use on Ibis Paint and CapCut. And the second technique, a bit more advanced, will be on a light motion. So you can choose any technique depending on the software that you use. So let's get right into it. So the first technique is on CapCut and Ibis Paint. So we're going to create a project right into Ibis Paint. Once you're on the main menu, you're going to click on the layers menu. So you're going to duplicate the layer and then you're going to click on this little eye icon into the first layer and make sure you stay on the second layer. So now we're going to pick up the eraser tool and then we're going to start erasing everything under the eyelid, just like I'm doing. And once you're done, it should look something like this. So we're going to do the exact same process for the other eye and this this is what it looks like. As you can see, it looks a bit weird, but this is completely normal. So we're gonna go right back to the layers menu, and then we're gonna click on the eye icon to make the first layer visible again. Next up, we're gonna pick up the liquify pen. Extremely important. We're gonna click on drag. So now we're gonna drag the eye down using the liquify pen. So you're gonna swipe down to close the eyes. And then once it looks pretty good, you can test out the strength to see how it looks. So it looks pretty good. I'm gonna do the exact same process for the other eye so just swipe down with your fingers until you get a good result so as you can see i am testing out the strength and this is what it looks like it looks pretty good. So next step, I'm going to save the image every 10%. So what I did here is I put the strength to 100% and then I'm going to save it as transparent PNG. Next up, I'm going to put it to 90% and then I'm going to save and then 80%, 70, 60, 50, 40, all the way up to 0%. So you have to save every 10%. So once everything is done, you should have a total of 11 pictures in your camera roll. So after that, we're going to open CapCut. We're going to create a new project in CapCut. We're going to import the 11 pictures in order. Very important. And we're going to reduce every single clip to 0.1 second, which is the minimum. So after doing this for every single clip, it should look like this. And also I forgot to mention, you should put a green screen as the main image. So the background image should be a green screen. So once everything is lined up, you can save the video. And then we're going to re-import the video you just exported. We're going to click on the video. We're going to click on speed. And then you can pretty much much put the speed whenever you want for this example you can put at four if you want a faster blink you can put at two if you want a slower blink for this example we're gonna put it around three so this is what it looks like as you can see the character open his eyes it looks pretty good so now if you want to do a blinking animation you have to do this you have to copy the clip and then you have to reverse it this is how you would do a blinking animation just like this and then once everything is done you can simply export the project and this is what it looks like so now we can move on to the second technique of the video. This one is on a light motion. First thing we're going to do, we're going to open the Ibis Paint. We're going to start cutting out some body parts. So we're going to pick up the eraser tool and we're going to start erasing the eyelid right above the eye. So we're going to start erasing the black eyelid. So it should look something like this. And we're going to do the exact same process for the other eyelid. So once you finish everything up, you can simply save as transparent PNG. The next body part we're going to remove is the eyelid eyeball so we're pretty much gonna remove everything around the white part so as of right now this is what it looks like and then we're gonna do the exact same process for the other eye so once everything is done always you can save as transparent png and the last part we have to do is we have to remove the eyeball plus the eyelid so the two parts that we just cut out we have to remove them now so what i did is i redrew over the eyes using a matching gray color and then i just redrew some black lines to make it more realistic Realistic. So obviously it doesn't have to be perfect. So just try to make it blend. That's all you have to do. And I did the exact same process for the other eye. So I painted the rest in gray and then I put some black bars just to make it more realistic. And then once everything is done, this is what it looks like. And you can save as transparent PNG. This was our last part. So now let's see all of the body parts that we have. So obviously we have the face, then we got the eyelid, and then we got the eyeball. So this is all you need. Let's move to a light motion now 
so we're gonna put everything together we're gonna start the animations so we're gonna create a new project in a light motion then we're gonna start importing our body parts so we have the face and the eyelids and the eyeball so the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna click on the eyelid and then we're gonna click on effects we're gonna search the wave warp so we're gonna go to the spacing and we're gonna play around with the spacing a little bit for this example i put it around 20 so i just play around until you get something that kind of look like this and then you're gonna go to the magnitude and you're gonna spin the wheel and this is where things get pretty good so as you can see now the eyelid goes down just like this so i adjusted a few things to make it look better and this is somewhat what it should look like so as you can see the eyelid is down next up we're gonna start putting some keyframes so we're gonna put one keyframe and then a second one and then on the second keyframe you're gonna put the magnitude to zero just like this and now as you can see the eyelid kind of opens on its own so the last part you have to do you have to put some graphs to make it more smoother so you can simply put this graph the fourth one so next part we're gonna click on the eyeball and then we're gonna search this effect called wipe you're gonna go to start and you're gonna spin the wheel until you get something that looks like this this is a mask so we're gonna pretty much put a mask onto the eyeball and then you can play around with the angle until you get something that looks like this so the main goal here is to make the eyeball disappear when the eyes are closed and then make it open again when he reopens his eyes using the mask feature so just like last time we're gonna start putting two keyframes there's one and then there's the second one so we're gonna go to the second keyframe and we're gonna spin the wheel to the opposite side so it's pretty much going to cancel the mask so it should look something like this and after that you can pretty much put the same graph as last time and you can always adjust the graph if the mask is too early or too late you can adjust it so as you can see this is what it looks like this is what the light motion blinking animation looks like so after that obviously i did the exact same process for the other eye so putting the body parts and then putting the wave warp playing around with the spacing adjusting the magnitude and then putting keyframes and then on the second keyframe putting the magnitude to zero and finally putting some graphs in and i did the same process for the wipe effect as well so adjusting the start and the angle and simply putting some keyframes and some graphs in this definitely takes some time to get used to but once you get the hang of it it's definitely not that bad so this is what it looks like right now we can export the project and this is the final result I also put some extra animations on it so this is what it looks like with the animations and that's pretty much it for the alight motion technique so if you want more tutorials there's plenty on my channel thank you guys so much for watching the video and I'll see you next time stay safe y'all yeah.